If you want to transform your face, do this face fitness exercise. If you're skinny and still have a double chin, you can get stuck and collected lymph fluid out of your face with these exercises. It's not a surprise to anyone that we are getting older and obviously the quality of our skin is not getting better as well. It becomes less moisturized, elastic, less glowy and of course we get wrinkles. Well, who wants that? No one, right? The fear of aging is a natural thing, but it was never as popular as now. Nowadays, people spend lots of money and time to look younger. Plastic surgeries, beauty procedures, cosmetics. But what if you don't have that much money to spend on beauty procedures? What if you want to keep your face natural, but still want to look younger? What to do in this case? Well, as always, social media have answers for everything, because there you can find lots of videos with face massage or face fitness that will help you to solve exactly this problem problem. At least this is what influencers tell you. But does it really work? Let's find out it together in today's video. Because honestly, I got very curious and did a little experiment on my own and the result was pretty surprising. <laughs> For a long time, I have been bumping into face fitness videos. There are lots of free videos on YouTube, there are courses, different equipment, and I really got curious because let's be honest, results look awesome. So the idea is pretty simple, just strengthen your facial muscles or do a massage and you're gonna look fresh, young and beautiful without any beauty procedures. But as Grissom from CSI always says, you wanna know the truth, find the evidence. Follow the evidence. So of course I started to dig and find out that everyone who is teaching face fitness follows the method of one woman, Carol Maggio. She is a licensed esthetician and she developed her face exercise program over 30 years ago in 1981. According to Carol's story, when she was 36 and newly married, one day her husband came to her and told her that she was getting older. So consequently she decided to do something with her face, something that will strengthen her facial muscles and prevent it from aging. So basically this is how face fitness was born. And even though I have some questions to her husband, in general it sounds like pretty interesting story right? Well, yes and no. Building your own empire is nice, but what about the evidence? Because if something is helping me, it doesn't mean that it's gonna help you. So of course I dug deeper and found no scientific evidence that face fitness helps you to look younger. For example, according to the review made in 2013 by Association of Plastic Surgeons concluded that, and I will read it, the evidence to date is insufficient to determine whether facial exercises are effective for facial rejuvenation. Evidence from large randomized control trials will be needed before conclusions can be drawn. There are nine studies made in total for all this time and all of them don't prove the effectiveness of face fitness. Well, then what about the results that we see, right? I want you to understand that there are many factors that could affect the result. Genetics, sleep, movement, nutrition, stress, etc. Having no scientific evidence doesn't prove or disprove the effectiveness of face fitness. It just simply means that we don't know it yet. For example, there are people who are saying that it works and their skin looks more elastic and glowy. But at the same time, there are people who are complaining about face fitness because some of them are getting new wrinkles. Some of them even get injured. Mm, 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 mm. It's not gonna work. It's not going to work. If it would work, we would be looking like baby fucking fetuses for the past three, four, five centuries that we've been around. For instance, if you have any health issues and you do face fitness that includes neck exercises, then you can damage your body even more. Or for instance, some equipment such as jaw trainer can really hurt you. There was a huge trend on TikTok where people had been using this jaw trainer and showing their fascinating results. But the thing is, when you overdo it, you can create problems in your TMG area. It's the area that connecting your lower jaw and the skull, which consequently can cause a huge headache. Or for instance, if you will overtrain those muscles, you can start clenching and grinding your teeth at night, which can wear down your molars. Again, who wants that? No one. But do influencers tell you that? 
Of course not, because for them the main point is to sell. But exercises and equipment for face fitness should be advised only by your doctor, not an influencer. And I will repeat it again, the quality of your facial skin depends on many factors, such as skin care, type of facial aging, sleep, stress, nutrition, movement, etc. However, when it comes to facial massage, things are a bit more promising here. The skin of your face is very sensitive, so as long as you don't do it strongly, facial massage can help you to relax your facial muscles, which which of course can help you to reduce headache. It can help you to improve blood circulation and increase the oxygen levels in your skin. And of course, it can help you to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and improve your skin tone. Well, as I said, I've been doing a little experiment on my own and I was doing facial massage for three months to see, to check if it's really working. Because I always had big cheeks, you know, despite my weight. And I wanted to do something to make it slimmer, you know, and after facial massage, I actually noticed the difference. But of course, as always, I messed up somewhere, you know, and I did not take any picture before or after. But I was posting some stories on Instagram so you can compare it yourself. You've been outside, but tonight feels like you're home for life. But we always have but. Shortly after my experiment, I went on two months vacation. And during the time, I barely exercised, I ate a lot of fast food. And even though I did not gain any weight, I noticed that my face became more round again. So when it comes to conclusion, in my personal opinion, facial massage maybe can help you to get rid of a puffy face, you know, if you do it regularly and you don't stop. But when it comes to the quality of your skin, as I said before, it depends on many factors. Personally, I love doing facial massage just as a part of my beauty routine and for relaxation because I have a lot of tension here in my forehead area, you know, probably I'm thinking too much. And facial massage really helps me to relax. So what do we have at the end of this podcast? No scientific proof that it's really working. So basically, if you like it and you think that it's working for you, then just do it. Well, guys, this is it for today. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's podcast. And of course, as always, I'm going to remind you to like this video and follow me here on YouTube so you can help my channel to grow so I can make more videos for you. And of course, stay beautiful, stay healthy, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you next time.